A private jet is an American CEO's perk. But not the CEO of Japan Airlines. He comes to work on the city bus. Merrill Lynch boss John Thane spent a million dollars decorating his office. But Haruka Nishimatsu knocked down his office walls so anyone can walk in. He buys his suits at a discount store because a boss who wears Armani puts himself at arm's length from his people. If management is distant, up in the clouds, people just wait for orders, he told us. I want my people to think for themselves. And meeting his people means popping into planes, chatting with flight attendants, even sorting the newspapers. I'd like to just find what is going on. What's going on? Well, at the front line. All CEOs say that service is important, but Nishimatsu goes a step beyond. He says that if you're having a bad experience, don't get angry with the people you're dealing with. Blame the person in charge. The person in charge here walks the walk. Look up and there's the boss. Got an idea? Catch him at lunch in the company cafeteria. His salary for running the world's 10th largest airline, not millions, but one year as low as $90,000. When he was forced to cut salaries for everyone else, he also cut his own. My wife said, what? <laughs> to him, a leader shares the economic pain. I feel close to him, says flight attendant Akiko Isobe. It's encouraging. These days, all airlines are struggling. Even at reliably profitable Southwest, it's time to tighten belts. It will not work uh, if leaders treat themselves one way uh, and their employees another way. Nishimatsu says a CEO doesn't motivate by how many millions he makes, but by convincing employees you're all together in the same boat, a spirit that could help survive the current economic storm. Barry Peterson, CBS News, Tokyo.